So for today's citizens' debate, we have with us Marquise and Megan, who are supporters of Secretary Hillary Clinton, and also have with us Jim and Laura, who are supporters of Donald Trump. So, Jim, why don't I start with you? Uh, you are a retired firefighter. Why do you support Donald Trump to be the next president? Um, I think the main thing for me is I, I truly believe he wants to make the country great again. I think we've lost a lot over the years. I believe in him and I'm, I'm kind of tired of the politicians on both sides of the aisle. I like Trump because he's a businessman and he's done well for himself. I think he can get businesses started here in the States again and um, make it a better country. Very good. Megan, you heard what Jim just said about Donald Trump. Do you agree? No, no. Um, I feel that he is wholly unqualified to be president. Um, he's not tested. He's never, being a business owner is different than being running the government. Marquise, why do you support Hillary Clinton? She's more qualified than any other candidate that is running for office in 2016. And I believe that in itself, along with the values I hold true, that she's someone that would represent me well. Now I want to talk about the email controversy. Did this bother you, Jim? Uh, it certainly bothers me. Um, and I mean, more and more is coming out every day with all the information coming out about how the Democratic Party works. I mean, it's corrupt. Um, and the, the email server in her home and her not knowing what the C meant, I, I mean, she's lying. I would love for WikiLeaks to hack into Donald Trump's. Yeah, fine. And let's see what fine. awful things once, he's saying. Once he's responsible for government or, and top secret information. Trump is the only presidential candidate who has not disclosed his tax return. Exactly. And does that bother you guys? It, it doesn't bother me. I don't, I don't really care about his tax returns. I, I'm worried about what's happening to the country. I think there's a correlation to talking about the future that America is heading yes. or making it great again. Well, we can't talk about making it great again or that the future of this country is going down when we don't have millionaires possibly paying their taxes. It looks to many that Donald Trump has a tendency to use insulting languages against women, minorities. It's horrifying. It's horrifying that that man is so close to being in the highest office in our nation. I don't even want my grandkids watching TV when he's anywhere near it because you just don't know what he's going to say. Um, I think he's thin-skinned. Um, if he did get elected, I think he would spend the first year probably getting revenge on everybody who ever said or tweeted anything bad about him. And I don't know how any other woman could support that. I want to remind everybody that when Bill Clinton was running for office, let me finish, there were all sorts of sexual scandals that followed him into office and in fact, as we all know, continued while in office. Let's be fair. If we're going to talk about one, let's talk about all. Oh yes, and we can talk about that one, but President Clinton has never insulted the Af so many different communities and minorities in less than one year. This is rampage beyond rampage. Do you still have faith in this electoral system? Truthfully, I'm tired of all the politicians. I mean, there's, they seem to be more for what the system does for them than what they can do for the people. That's my main thing out of all this. And I think that's why I like Trump. It won't be politics as usual. No. With Trump as president. I see that change. You guys agree? I do, th it, it astounds me that somebody like Trump could come up and uh, to be the candidate. I didn't think he had a chance. I, don't, I really don't think he thought he had a chance right. at first. I really don't. Okay guys, um, I think we'll see what happens in a short few days.